present to you a rubber band ball made up of 2,300 rubber bands. Three, two, one. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, I'm not comfortable. Parkour. just want to film a video. Is that okay? Thanking you. Oh, okay. Man is your tech. And I own this. I own this, y'all. This, this is all mine. My house costs more than your toe. And your little toe, yeah. I eat that for my dinner and breakfast at the same time. Yeah. Uh oh, oh. Just gonna attempt that one again. Yeah. Go on. Have it. Have it all. <sighs> I gotta pick all this up now. Mm. Salut! Yo guys, it's Lee. Hello there, mm, the people of the world. I am chilling. The other day I made an order on Amazon and today that order came to my door. You know the good old doll that you grab the handle and go, ka -chow. Pull it, oof. <laughs> I am sorry. I hurt my knuckle, that did. Come here, you little rascal. So here I have my parcel, and I bet you can't tell what is inside my parcel. I will wait for you to tell me, but then I remembered I'm not going to hear anything. Probably by the title, you can guess what is inside this pie. Um, yeah. Come on. By the title, you can probably tell what is inside this bad boy. So I have my trusty knife, which is quite dangerous in a Lee Hinchcliffe video. Uh... Whoa! Okay. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God. ka -chow. So, in my hand, I have lots and lots of rubber bands. I have one, two, three, four, five bags of rubber bands. And inside these bags of rubber bands, there are 460, says it right there, 460 125 millimeter by 3 millimeter elastic rubber bands. Oh my god. And so basically, in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is making the world's largest rubber band ball. One that's probably going to be the size of my head, even though it's not going to take that much because my head's really small. I've got a little pea head. Hello, elephant. Do you think I have a small head? <laughs> no, I didn't think you did either. <laughs> Get away, you're making me look weird. Now, obviously, to start off this video, what I have to do is start off a mini rubber band ball. Have no idea how to do it. Should probably look that up, actually. How to start a rubber band ball. Hey, everybody. Uh, Whoa, today. that's big. Uh, that's massive. Basically, you get yourself a thick rubber band. Kind of like the ones that come around the broccoli. I don't buy broccoli. Right, okay. No further in my knowledge of how to make rubber bands as of yet. But before we get any further into this video, if you guys are new to my channel or I am new... Or if my face is new to your screen, make sure you go down there and press that big red subscribe button. We are going bigger and bigger every single day. I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. Also, make sure you go down there and smash a like on this video. Let's try to get 3,000 likes on this video. I would also really appreciate that. That helps me out a lot. That lets me know that you're enjoying my videos. And that is the perfect scenario in life. That was a mixture between situation and scenario. So from the tutorial I've been watching, it says that you need to get a rubber band and then to start it, what you have to do is get a rubber band and sort of like fold it up until it crush crushes, no, until it like squishes and folds into a little squidgy thing. Sort of like that, I think. And then he said to get another one, another one. and then just wrap it round like this. <laughs> Part of me thinks I'm doing it wrong. Okay, then you have something like that. I'm gonna nail this bad boy. Fold it in half and again. Right, that's in half. Then put you on there. Twist. How do you do this? I have not a clue what I'm doing. I think I've got it. I think I've only gonna do it. I have. No, I've not. Oh, this is grinding my gears. Ah! Ugh. Mummy, this is really hard. Trying to make a rubber band ball. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, mum. What? When I'm saying whoa, it means stop. My camera is on the board. You can't move the board. You have to me. I know. I just thought I'd play a few games, you know. Love you, mum. Twist again. Put that over there. Am I doing it? I literally have no idea. So twist again. Mm. 
Oh, for God, you're annoying me. I'm gonna do it my own way. Screw you into a little ball like that. Yeah, I'll show you, Mr. Rubber Band Man. Go over like that. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting there. Oi, go on. Go on, one more. Go on. What is that? I think that's kind of what you do. And then you just do it again. Oh yes, I've got it! Look, I've got a little elastic ball thing with a head on it. So that is one elastic band folded up and two elastic bands wrapped around Two elastic bands wrapped around it. Can I just say, 460 elastic bands in each packet. I have five packets of 460 bands. Therefore, I have 2,300 elastic bands. This is gonna be a long, long, long... Week. <gasps> oh, I'm getting good now. I'm getting good. This requires a drink break. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Spilt it on my hands. Spilt it on my jeans. And spilt it in my sliders. I hate my life! Uh, oh, excuse me, elastic band burp. No, you're not escaping, you, you little. <sighs> oh, okay. Alright, just a little update for you all. This is what my rubber band ball currently looks like. Not gonna lie, I think I've done a semi-decent job because I'm usually rubbish at life things. So at this moment in time, if you guys could go down there and leave a like below, that would show some support on this video. I would really appreciate that for me and my rubber band ball. This is me just getting started, boys and girls. It's good. Okay. It's gonna get a lot bigger than that, I promise. But for now, I'm gonna turn my camera off a little bit and work on it a little bit because I don't want to waste my camera battery. And I will come back to you guys in a little bit with an update of how big... My rubber band ball has got. Gotta be careful how I say that, because that can be took quite wrong. A few moments later. Alright, so not sure how big it was when I last showed you guys. But right now, it is this big. That is my creation. I think it's going really well. I never expected myself to be able to do it, I'm not gonna lie. I must have been sat here at least an hour just doing this, and it's turned out this big. But it's actually going pretty well. I can imagine it is actually gonna go into like a huge rubber band ball. And usually, I am rubbish at this sort of stuff. Stuff, but yeah, boy's completing it. And it is 5 p.m. right now. It's literally just turned 5 p.m. So I think I've been doing it about an hour or so. And I am very, very hungry. So I text my mum, literally saying, Mother dearest, got to tell you something. Dot dot dot. I'm really hungry. And I haven't had a reply, and that was five minutes ago. Johnny downstairs. Just want some food, please, mummy. I'm wasting away here. Oh, okay, tired. But ain't no stopping me. And my rubber band ball. Mum, did you get my text? Could you read my text, please? What? How am I meant to eat? But then I might blow the house up. Look, guys, I'm cracking on. Look at it. It's looking like a big, bouncy egg. I am actually very proud of myself for this because I never thought that I would sit here for hours on end going through so many blooming... So many elastic bands to make an elastic band ball and I've not even made it through the first bag yet. This is the first bag still. I'm very tired. Like seriously very tired. But one good thing. When your mum pulls through with that fresh hookup. Thanks mummy. Ooh, me nut just dropped on the floor. Hello there! Yes. <laughs> right, so some time has passed now. I ate my sandwich. I sat there at my computer eating my sandwich and I watched Ninja play Fortnite streaming on Twitch for a long time. So a couple of hours has passed since the last time you saw me messing about with my rubber band ball. But while I have been sat there watching Fortnite streams, I have actually been very productive with my rubber band ball. I've not just been sat there just with my hands like this. I've been sat there with my hands like this. Yeah. Oh. So three, two, one, jump. This is my updated rubber band ball. Look at how big that is getting now. If I compare it to the last couple of clips that you saw. That is my creation. Look guys, I'm cracking on. Look at it. This thing is getting huge. It's bigger than me head. Nah, not quite. It's not quite bigger than my head yet, but it's getting there. 
Oh, you see, your vent is quite heavy, you know? Boys and girls! Boys and girls! I don't know why I did that, that actually quite hurt. So now, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna do like one more round tonight of like this because it's getting quite late now and I'm not gonna lie, I'm ready for bed. Just for you guys that don't know, if you don't follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and all that, I've been going to the gym recently. <sighs> Big man hinge. And I go to the gym at like really late times because I film through the day and I edit through the day. So I go to the gym at like midnight and then I don't get back while like half two, three in the morning and then I go to bed. So I'm really tired. So I've been trying to go to bed like early ish on a night, if that makes sense. Doesn't make sense because I've been going to the gym. I meant I'm trying to go to bed early tonight because I'm gonna. <sighs> Do you know what? I'm really confused as to what I'm trying to say. Where am I? Am I up here? But basically, yeah, I want to go to bed soon and it's getting really late. So what I'm gonna do. I need this. So what I'm going to do is do one more round of it and then go to bed and tomorrow I'm going to carry on and we are going to complete it together, me and you. Me and you. <laughs> oh, I think I need help. Right, here we go. Kerbang. It's got that big now, though, that I can literally only put a rubber band. Okay, never mind. It's got that big now that I can literally only put a rubber band on it, like that. Twist it once, and then wrap that round. And that's the only amount of times I can do it. I used to be able to do it, like, four times. Ah! What the hell? What four just came off, then? Four! Get in the bin. You little potatoes, scratching, porking, peep, pooping, and flower planting pedestrians. You saw me in that time lapse doing the last layer of rubber bands for tonight. So this is the finished product for tonight. It's not really changed since last time you saw it. But I am really proud of myself for actually doing this because I never thought that I would start from the little thing and then carry on into what this is. And I'm going to make it even bigger. But it's quite satisfying. Like literally making something like that is so satisfying because it's like it's cool and it bounces but I can't really show you it bouncing. Why did I do that? Expensive camera, and I just lobbed a heavy, a heavy rubber band ball at it. I'm sorry. Anyway, as I said, I'm gonna go downstairs, go into bed now, and have a little chill. You know what I'm saying? And go to sleep, carry on in the morning. But I'm gonna bring you little bad boys with me. And I'm going to bring my rubber band ball to bed. Good night, my little gems. Good night, my little princess of the evening. Night! Hello, hi. Hello! Salut! Hi there. Oh, hi there, me lassie. Alright. So basically, right now, I am in my garden. That is why you can probably hear... Oh my god, I'm, my back's itching. That's why you can probably hear the motorway, because the motorway is down the banking, down there, over there, of my fence, over there, over there. Right now, it is the next day, and I am about to carry on with my world's largest rubber band ball. It is looking pretty beefy, you know? I've carried on with it overnight, a little bit off camera. When I went to bed, I was just sat in bed, and I kind of just carried on for some reason overnight. So it's got slightly bigger. It's not massive, but it's slightly bigger compared to the last clip when you saw it. But I think we might as well go back in the house now and carry on with the main part of the video. Actually, while I'm here, I'm going to show you guys something. Oh my goodness. Alright, so some of you guys will know that I have a car and it's actually out there, but I'm not going to show you it because it shows my street name and I obviously don't want to do that. But on my car, I have a personalised reg plate. If you guys don't know what personalised reg plate, it is the number plate on the car, but it's personalised to you. So mine, for those of you guys that don't know, says L33YTB, which means Lee YouTube. And at this moment in time, it's just a bog style standard number plate, what you get in the UK. And for a while now, I've wanted something for my car to make it look just a little bit better. It's not really anything amazing. It's just literally a change on the number plate. So I ordered these things. As you can see on the letters, it's called a gel resin carbon fibre print. And then the thing that's around it, that border, is a carbon fibre reg plate holder. So they just go on like the back and the front of my car. And I just think they look really cool. So that's my reg plate. If you see me driving around, that's me. I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, Lee, why are you showing your reg plate? But it's on videos, it's on my Snapchat, it's on my Instagram, it's everywhere. So I'm not really bothered, it's my reg plate. If people see me driving, you can wave at me, you know it's my car then. But I don't really know why I showed you guys that. It's just that you're probably not going to care because a lot of you won't be able to drive. But I just thought I'd show you because I update you guys on my life and that's what's happening in my life. Reg plates. Yeah, but moving on. Anyway, let's go back in the loft. <laughs> In the gym, in the right now we're back in my loft after that um, 
performance. So from the last clip that you saw from yesterday, I can't remember how big the elastic band ball was. But right now, it is currently this big. So this is what we're saying, yo. Oh my god, I'm so glad I did not lob that at a wall or an ornament because there would have been destruction. But as I said, right now it is this big. So literally, I have my rubber bands here still with me. Down here, and what I'm going to do is just go up. Oh. Is just go over the ball again and see how big we can make it to make the world's largest Tesco backpack. So if you ever wanted to know how to make a rubber band ball, all you do is get your previous rubber band ball and get your other rubber band and twist it round twice round your rubber band ball and hey, voila, you have a rubber band ball. Oh. <laughs> right, so let's talk. Let's talk. Bring, bring! Hello, it is I. Bring, bring! Oh, hold the phone. Someone else is here. Hello! Oh no, no. Hello! Oh no. He hello! Oh no. Oh, no. oh no. Bring, bring! Oh, hold the line, please. Uh, mm. <clears throat> uh, hello! Uh, uh, hello! Uh, hello! <laughs> what am I doing? Hello? I mean, oh, I need real help. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Anyway, back to where we were. These are all strands of my hair because they look like spaghetti and I boiled them in the pan earlier. I'm not really sure how you actually boil spaghetti. One time I went to play down in the woods and I found a hairy looking daffodil on the peak tips of the pirate's boat. And then the pirate came down to me and he said, Hey young boy, what are you doing out here in these woods trying to steal my hairy daffodil on the peak tips of my breasticles? You can donate one pound a month to save Lee Hinchcliffe and all you have to do is eat one of my rubber bands. Alright, so your boy has been going for a while now, and kerbang! Look, he's getting so much bigger. Does it actually look bigger compared to the last time? Oh dear. I think it looks bigger. It feels a lot heavier. I'm sure it looks bigger compared to last time. Now, literally, look, all I can do is fit the rubber band round once. It's got that. Okay, never mind. Right, uh, oh. It's not going on. All right, there we go. It's got that big that I can only fit it round once. How do you think it's going, Mr. Elephant? I think it's going great. That wasn't me. That was the elephant. The elephant said that. Would you like to eat this, Mr. Elephant? Oh, of course I would, Lee. Thank you so much. Oh, I've got to cover my mouth then. I mean, what? This elephant's talking to me. Go on then. Have a, have a eat of it. There you go. Let me help you out. Let's get that in there for you. Right, there we go. The elephant's eaten. Now I've lost my rubber band ball. I've just smacked the bum of my um, teddy elephant. <sighs> I'm getting real hot and sweaty in here. And I just need to sleep. And I kind of fancy some nugs. If anybody wants to send me some nugs while I'm filming this video, be my guest. Even though this video has gone up after I've filmed it. But that's not the point. If you want to just send me some nugs, I will fall in love with you. Right guys, so I've got to this stage now where it has got really big, but I want to surprise you guys. So what I'm going to do is, I literally have this ball and three packets of rubber bands left. Yes, I have used two packets on... What on earth? I've used two packets on the... Oh my god, three just... What, what is happening? I've used two... Four. What? Okay, never mind, they're all dropping off. I've used two packets of rubber bands on this ball, therefore there are 460 times two, because I failed maths. 920, that means there are 920 rubber bands on this ball. Well, technically 916, because four of them have flown on the floor. But that's not the point. There are 920 bands here. I have three bags of rubber bands left. What I'm going to do is turn off my camera, go away for a little bit, just concentrate on getting this thing massive, use all of the rubber bands and come back to you guys when it is done and then we'll go outside and give it a good old drop test and see what happens with a rubber band ball six hours later oh elephant how dare you do that okay guys in fact now let me get a little bit closer just to build up the you know the suspension and tension and stuff right anyway <clears throat> the moment that you have all been waiting for five bags of rubber bands 460 rubber bands in each bag therefore there were I forgot i have forgot i've definitely forgot 460 times five Therefore, there were 2,300 rubber bands. I, Lee Hinchcliffe, 
I'm sorry, I've just knocked you. I, Lee Hinchcliffe, have used 2,300 rubber bands and made them all into a rubber band ball. This has taken two days. I have done this over the period of two days days. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go any further, if you could go down there, leave a like below and press subscribe, I would really, really appreciate it. This is the effort that I put into the videos for you guys and spend a lot of money. Tell you what, rubber bands are not cheap. <coughs> anyway, getting off topic, getting off topic, right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the moment that you have all been waiting for, I am awesome. <laughs> oh, sorry, right, anyway, but back to the announcement. <laughs> I present to you a rubber band ball made up of 2,300 rubber bands. Three, two, one. Whoa! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, he's only gone and done it. Lee Hinchcliffe, the one and only Lee Hinchcliffe, has gone and done it. And I tell you something, this is not the lightest thing either. This is, it's not light, trust me, this thing is not light. But right here, I have 2,300 rubber bands made into a rubber band ball, and it has taken me two days. That is correct, two days. Two days, guys, two days to make a rubber band ball. I feel like I am going insane. If anybody has any chicken nuggets to spare, send them my way. It will calm me down, but I think I have gone even more insane than I already was on each eyebrow. But here we have it guys, this is the finished product, 2,300 rubber bands made into a rubber band ball. I am so happy that this is now done because it was taking such a long time and I was getting like, oh my god, it's taking this long, I think I need some food. But it took a very long time, so if you guys could go down there, leave a like below and subscribe to me, I would really, really appreciate it, it would mean the world to me. But right now, now that we have our rubber band ball made out of 2,300 rubber bands, we are going to go outside in my garden and do a massive drop test with this rubber band ball and see what it can do. But if you guys want to make a rubber band ball for yourself, just order a packet of rubber bands and all you have to do is fold a few up at the start and wrap some rubber bands around it and there you go, you will have started your very own rubber band ball. But I recommend not doing it as much as I did because I spent a lot of money on rubber bands and it took ages to make this thing, so if you've got time on your hands and do it, if not, yeah, I recommend you don't do it. Come with me, my precious little people. We're going to go into my garden. <laughs> Hi. Oh yeah, and also just to show you guys, these are the empty packets. One, two, three, four, five. They're going in the bin. But we, on the other hand, are going outside. Uh, mind my washing. They're my white clothes. Just ignore those. They're not there. Come on, princess. Oh, oh, okay. Come on, princess. <sighs> See if my rabbit likes my rubber band ball. Hello, rabbit. Do you like my rubber band ball? Oh, she's sniffing, sniffing. Nah, I don't think she likes it. But to me, it seems there's only one way to test it. Just... Oh no, 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 no. What have I done? I, what do I do? Oh dear. Yeah, well, I think that's lost forever. Okay, well, I've lost that then. What an absolute waste of two days gone over the back of my fence. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Unfortunately, I decided to throw my rubber band ball over the fence when I've just spent two days on it. And now I've lost it forever. That, I'm not finding that again. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go down there and leave a like below. Also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I would really, really appreciate that. I've said on social media that I had like a week break because I was like really busy doing things behind the scenes of YouTube. But now I'm back. Normal uploads. I have three uploads this week. So you've seen this one today. There's gonna be one tomorrow and there's gonna be one Sunday. And then next week, I'm gonna be back to normal, like breaking it up a little bit, probably when. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday sort of thing. But I'm back to normal, guys. I'm happy to be back on the grind of the videos. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next video. I love you all. Peace. I genuinely can't believe I just spent two days making a rubber band ball, and I've just lobbed it over my garden fence. I am next level human. <laughs>